Welcome to Dark World TV. Top 5 Indian Serial Killers Kumar also known as Cyanide Mohan used to lure unmarried girls into having sex with him and then trick them into taking contraceptives which were actually cyanide pills. He killed 20 women. Before he went on this murderous rampage, he used to be a teacher of physical education at a primary school. Maulika is considered as India's first female serial killer. She would befriend wealthy women who visit the temples, pretending to be someone well versed in all the rituals. She would then invite the victims to a temple far from their home, asking them to come in their fineries to please the gods. When there, she asked the victim to drink holy water. Contain cyanide. She was convicted for six counts of murder and is currently serving life sentence. The Stoneman Killer, from 1985 to 1988, 12 murders of a similar kind happened in Mumbai. All of the victims were homeless, those who were sleeping on the side of the street. The victim's head was crushed using a stone that weighs around 30 kilograms. After a brief pause the killings began again in 1989 this time in Calcutta where 13 persons were killed. The identity of their killer remained a mystery, but many copycat killers surfaced later on. Seven killings in 2008 in Guwahati, Assam and ten killings in Kolhapur, Maharashtra, Guwahati and Kolhapur killers were caught later on. Devendra Shama. Devendra Shama was a fairly successful doctor of Ayurvedic medicine but he also had a dark side. He wanted to make a quick buck boosting cars and he didn't mind the bloodshed that came with it. From 2002 to 2004, he stole cars and killed car drivers from many areas in and around UP, Gurgaon and Rajasthan. According to his own confession, he killed about 30 to 40 men, all drivers. He was sentenced to death in 2008. The Nefari killers, Surinder Kohli was the domestic help of Maninda Singh Panda, a wealthy businessman from Noida. Initially in 2006, they were both arrested in connection to the discovery of skulls of missing children in Nefari village in the outskirts of Noida. The case took many twisted turns and there was a huge media furore over what was really going on. There were accusations of rape, cannibalism, paedophilia and even organ ficking. Surinder Kohli has been found guilty of five homicides and is on death row while Panda awaits his fate as there are 11 other unsolved murders under the same investigation. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please like comment and subscribe.